Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. My name is Kelsey, and today I'll be going over this week's problem of the week. So for the full problem and solution transcript, you can check the link on the description of this video on our YouTube channel. Okay, so this week's problem of the week asks you to find the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors of the matrix that I give you. Um, this is a very, very standard linear algebra, pro algebra problem, and if you ever take a class in it, you're definitely going to need to know how to do this. Um, this is also really useful in quantum mechanics, so this is something that comes up a lot. It's really useful. It's pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to start. Uh, by evaluating this, where i is going to be equal to the identity matrix. So we have a 2 by 2 matrix, so we're going to use the 2 by 2 identity matrix, of course. Uh, so it evaluates pretty nicely, and then um, we're going to take the determinant of it and set it equal to 0, and then we're going to solve for lambda, and that's how you get the eigenvalues of it. So I've set that equal to zero. Um, so it's a very simple, if you've taken middle school math, I guess, you can solve this pretty easily. Uh, there's going to be two solutions for lambda, um, which I will write on the board. Um, well, you would get this quadratic equation, which I will write first. 14 equals zero. You can put that into the quadratic equation. Um, just find lambda 1 and lambda 2. Or quadratic formula, I have to say. Okay, so the first part of uh, this question is complete. We have found the eigenvalues. So to find the eigenvectors, we would have to plug them back in. Uh, for the sake of time, I'm going to do this process for lambda 1 only. Um, the process for lambda 2 is, of course, in the tr solution transcript. And it also follows a very similar process. So um, if you can do one, you can definitely do the other. So. Okay, so I've started by plugging in the values for uh, lambda 1. Uh, we are going to uh, put this in row echelon form, which is a necessary step. Uh, so we'll start by writing it again over here. So if you study matrices, you know I can multiply uh, rows by certain things. So I'm going to start by multiplying this bottom row by uh, this term up here, negative 5 plus i square root of 5 divided by negative 5. And what that would do is that's going to turn this into negative 5 plus um, i square root of 5, which is what we need. So if you do that, you find that these match. You can subtract one from the other. Then easy enough, just try to turn this into uh, this first coefficient into a 1. Do it by dividing by that term. Okay, and then as you can see here, we have uh, put it into row echelon form. It looks like this, which means, very simply, we can see that this first eigenvector uh, can be written in this way and with this uh, eigenvalue. Okay, so that is uh, the first eigenvalue. Um, the second one is solved in a very similar way. Um, and we have that done on our solution trans transcript, so if you want to see it, it's there for the sake of time. I'm going to... So that's it for this week's problem of the week. Thank you so very much for watching. If you want to see more uh, problems of the week and advanced knowledge problems of the week, you can click right here for our playlist. If you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, you can click right here. And if you want to visit us on centerofmath.org, you can click right here. And if you are on a mobile device, there should be an I in the top corner over here. And if you click that, it should give you the same links. Thank you so very much for watching.